Welcome to this week's Cruiser Customizing Run Turn Brake Controller Tip of the Week. Last week we installed these large silver bullets here on the back of this VTX 1300 Retro. And as you were able to see in that installation, it was extremely simple to plug these into the rear fender rail. This week I'm going to show you how for under 80 bucks you can turn the rear of your bike into a run turn brake system with the flashing tail light. We've got three different kits here from Kuryakin that cover just about every motorcycle. You've got the 4710, which we're going to install on this bike today, which covers all of the metric models. It's basically a splicing unit, super simple to do, and I'm going to show you how to make that happen. You've got the 4613 that fits all of the Road Stars and V Stars, and we have the 4610 that actually covers this model and most of the VTX 1800s, but it is a plug and play unit, no need to splice anything. So today I'm going to show you how to install the most difficult one of these units. But before I do that, I need to swap these clear lenses out for red lenses. Come on in and take a look at how simple that process is. Simple. We're going to go ahead and remove this screw right here in the front. Here. And go ahead and pop out the clear lens. Set this back up and reinstall our screw. Got the right. Got the left. Now that we flash red in the back, it's time to tear this motorcycle down and install the run turn brake controller. And this here is the KY4710. This has all of the pieces necessary to be able to install this on just about any metric cruiser. As you can see, they're all labeled for each of the specific wires that we need to tap into. This here is the load equalizer in case you're running LEDs. So this is the most difficult of these three units from Kuryakin, and I'm going to show you how simple it really is to install. On this particular install, the first thing we're going to do is going to have to locate the bunch of wires that come from the rear up to where the fuse box is. And here on this VTX, I need to remove the side cover, and then back in between the frame and all the electrical components, I've got this rubber boot. Now if I slide this rubber boot up, I'm going to find all of the wires necessary for my run, my turn, and my brake. So now I'm going to go ahead and follow the instructions as manual. So come on in and take a look as we install this unit. So I just got done testing all these wires. The orange wire here is my left turn. Blue wire is my right turn. The brown is my tail light. So what I'm going to do now is this is the input. This is These are the wires that are connected to the stock harness that goes towards the battery. And then this section here on the end is my output. This is the side that goes directly to my tail light and turn signals. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut each of these wires and I'm going to fix one of these spades to the end so that they coordinate with each of these pieces on my run turn brake controller. And take the input for the right turn, left turn, brake. I'm going to get all these cut so I can plug these in here on the input and then these here on the other side are going to plug into the output. So these connectors run directly to the main frame of the motorcycle and these other wires come from the turn signals and taillights this direction. So on the input, I'm going to go ahead and take this brown one here which is my right turn which was my blue wire according to what we figured out earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this one in just like so. This next one here is going to be my blue which is my power which is going to be my rear tail light. It's going to be this one right here, just like that. Next one here is going to be the output brake, which we figured out was that green striped wire. And the last one here we have is the left turn, which we dictated as the orange wire earlier. All right. Now while pushing each of these in, you're going to hear a snap sound, and that's perfect. So now we have this side of the run turn brake controller connected. Now we need to go to the wires that come from the back of the motorcycle, put their connectors on so we can put them on the output portion of this run turn controller. Ok, 
Okay, so here we can see that we have all of the input and all of the output wires connected here with this Kuryakin unit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do two things. The first is I'm going to go ahead and plug both of these ground wires, both the input and the output, into this chassis ground bolt right up here. The instructions implicitly say do not connect these to the existing ground wire that comes out of your wire harness. These must be chassis mounted. Okay, so now I've got both the ground wires hooked up here to the chassis. What I'm going to do now is I'm running LEDs up front. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this load equalizer into the socket provided. And that should take care of the fast flashing that I would get if I were to turn the bike on without the load equalizer. We've got the key that gives us running lights on all three. We've got the running light and the tail light and in both of the turn signals. There you go, the installation of the 4710 from Kuryakin. Extremely simple, a couple wires to cut and splice into, but it's really not that bad. Now that we've got everything hooked up with our flashing brake light, let's go ahead and cut the lights and take a look and see what this looks like in the nighttime. Here we've got running lights. Left turn, right turn, and now a modulating brake light. This Kuryakin 4710 unit is super simple to install. And if you own a VTX or a Yamaha, the plug and play units are even simpler.